the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, God bless you. I, I hope you're going to take time to listen to our video. I appreciate you taking time to, to stop and see what's going on. And hope you take interest to listen to the entire video. We're going to break them down into segments, uh, A, B, C, and D. Bar, put them out on YouTube. And the topic of the day, I mean, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm telling you about this fact of why we need to study the Word of God and be doers of the Word of God. Because it's it's obvious that some people don't want to be doers of the Word of God. Uh, it's, it's befuddles me sometimes when you think about everybody that say they profess they're Christian, but then they don't do what, don't bear the fruits of a Christian. The fruits of the Spirit found in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. And then the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, Long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, and such. There's no law. But what we see is some people are actually teaching their children to be, uh, to hate, to hurt, to do bad things, to ignore the teaching of Christ. And we we know the history, all of you do. That's why some people are trying to ban books or try to reindoctrinate people to think a different way, but Reindoctrination doesn't work if you're still teaching a child to steal, kill, and destroy. The scripture I put up here said, Does dehumanizing others mean it is okay with God to steal, kill, and destroy? That's in John 10:10. 10, 10. Does God accept the dehumanizing, first of all, because you gotta remember, <laughs> we Christ, we're not the creation. Right? God created us. No body, whether you are a, a black supremacist or a white supremacist, can make somebody different from what God sees them to be. We're all creation of God. And the Bible said, if you receive and confess your mouth the Lord Jesus, Yeshua, as your personal Lord and Savior in your heart, that God's not raised, that God has, excuse me, God has raised him from the dead, that I should be saved. But if you believe not, that's a different story. But I'm talking about if you believe that God raised the dead and you confess your mouth to the Lord Jesus, you're saying is that he's Lord in your life, not you. And if he's Lord in your life, then you should do what he taught. And you know he didn't teach discrimination. He didn't teach to kill people. He didn't teach to destroy people. So he taught to love one another. And if you're doing opposite of those things because you feel it's validated in the eyes of man or you feel that that's worth your eternal death, you know, or the, is it worth giving up your eternal life to have things here in this present world that benefits you and discriminates or go against other people, just cause you to steal, kill, and destroy from other people for your personal benefit, that you're saying is that your personal life outweighs eternal life, that you're willing to give up eternal life. You know, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but an everlasting life. And if you're saying that it's more important for a personal gain, for personal pride, for, like I said, black supremacy or white supremacy, that you believe that those things are more important than eternal life, that you choose to teach yourself, teach your children to go for eternal death. Eternal death means disconnected from God. If you think that's more important, uh, I'd like you to put that on the scale. We talked about a scale of life today. When you put God on the scale, you put Christ on the scale, you put the Holy Spirit on the scale, and then you put your works. You know, everything that you can try to gain for yourself and your children, 
you put those on the scale, it's imbalance. Because one is going to be higher than the other. And when you have a false balance, that's when you can find yourself out of sync with God and in jeopardy for eternal death. Eternal death means separated from God. And that's the choice that you have to make. And I'm recommending choose life. Amen. So uh, I hope, I think you're going to enjoy this segment. I know you will. And all I want you to do is just remember that Yeshua, Jesus, is Lord. And if you love him, keep his commandment. And his commandment is not about steal, kill, and destroy, but the life and have kind of life more abundantly. Amen? All right. Like I said, we're going to break it down. Don't forget to subscribe and leave comments if you can. And i see you when I see you. God bless you. Check it later. I hope you enjoy the video. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ministry is that we know everybody. Y'all know. You can't sit there and say that you didn't know you shouldn't... Uh, did the atrocity you did for slavery. You knew that you're not supposed to did that crusade. You knew you're not supposed to did the Spanish Inquisition. You knew you was not supposed to do the sale of witch hunt. You know that you're not supposed to sit there and do the things you're doing today. You know it. You you ain't go, you know when you're gonna go before God. You go before me, you can that that reminds me what happened in Exodus, right? They they said Moses. Yeah. Moses. You you go. Uh -huh. You go. You go. We're listening. Look at what he said. What he said? We're listening. We're, you we're listen to what you got to say because if we go, we're going to die. We're going to die. Same, look at that same word again. Interesting. Go go to finish that up for you. Three, three. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Mm. Nicodemus saith unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? Mm, see? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Wow. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I said to thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. He tried, he broke it down. To, I'm not talking yeah. physical, dude. I'm not talking about you being. You own, I ain't talking about you going where your mother who's already probably gone because I, you, you, you this old. Is, this is, these are true birth. These are birth. Born of water. You come uh -huh. out your, 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 your mother's womb uh -huh. in water. Yes, sir. Born of water. And then you got to be born of the spirit. Of the spirit. And that's you what he are, said. You are encapsulated. Come on. <laughs> In the spirit of God, that is the anointing. Yes, the sir. Birth into the spiritual realm, into yes. the connection. Yes, sir. Of God, without those two births, because if you are not born mm. through a Physi woman, physically born, yes, sir. Physically born, then yes. this has no place for you. You, you, you're not. You, it doesn't apply to you. But, and 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 this is another thing. If if. <laughs> If you are manufactured mm. of a man, mm. Mm. then you are not qualified. You're not qualified. You're not qualified. You ain't gonna get it. But the thing right now, they haven't figured that out anyway, right? You so not enter into the kingdom of God. Exactly. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. Yes. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. And that's the one we're talking about. Yep. Then we, Why are you, that I mm, said unto thee, ye must be born again. Spirit now, right? The He's talking Lord, to spirit. Lord, Lord, list this. Come on now. Let's talk about spirit because you can't see the wind. You can't see the wind. So don't marvel that I'm telling you this. He says, <laughs> and thou hearest the sound thereof. Woo. But canst not tell whence it cometh mm. and whether it goeth. Mm. So is everyone that is born of the spirit. Come on. You don't know who it's going to be. No. Nope. You don't know where they're going to be. No. Nope. But they're going to be. They're going to be. Exactly. Come on, brother. You know, there's some people, I mean, this is this is my test. There's some people that there's no way in the world I thought that they were going to accept Yeshua as their Lord and Savior. Yeah. The last people you expect. <laughs> and yet, those are the ones who are just going forth 
greatly. Yeah. And you know, that you use it for yourself, right? And matter of fact, some of the people that's listening are the same way. They, they, when they look about how they were, yeah. they were like, oh Lord, you're looking at a yeah. miracle. Yeah. Go ahead, keep on. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, how can these things be? See, see cause that's- He's Back talk, to the physical. That's He's exactly, physical. exactly. And some Jesus. of these people don't believe it. Obviously you don't look the same way he does, right? He, yeah. I can't, I can't relate where you're coming from. How can I not be a nationalist? Yeah. How can I not be a supremacist? Huh? How can I not go for wealth? How come I can't have the American or other type of dream? How, how can these things be that I can't get these things? I need, I, should, I need to get these things. You telling me I need to worry about the spiritual things, and I'm trying to get the physical things, the earthly things. You mean I can? I can't understand <laughs> what you're telling me. You, yeah. <laughs> because I'm caught up into my carnal mindedness. Exactly. I can't get past my carnal thinking. I yeah. can't grasp the spirit because I can't grab the wind. I can't. Yeah. And that's similar to what Jesus was trying to say that time said that that fourth temptation, that third temptation. Yeah. He was saying that the devil, look, it had to be powerful enough. Yeah. To tempt him. To, to tempt him to say, bow down and worship me. Yeah. And if we're trying to sit there and tell anybody that will listen, and God's talking to you, he's talking to you right now. Why would you bow down to the things of this world over the eternal promise that he has given you? You basically... You basically, matter of fact, I, I had a the TikTok the other day, y'all. Here's a rabbit trail. It's a real good TikTok, brother. I said, he, uh, they, they, they was talking about man. And when they die, they will go to the gates of heaven and say that you must spend a day in heaven and a day in hell. And then you will choose. What do you want to be in heaven or you want to be in hell? Now, that's a no-brainer, right? Yeah. From, from from that conversation. And then when he went in the day of heaven, he saw the glory of God, he saw the angels singing and all that stuff. And 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 it is this is a twist. I actually had a lady ask me this one time, a long, long time ago, said, wouldn't that be boring? You know, and it, they were saying that based on what they think they're supposed to see in heaven. Yeah. They think it's going to be boring, like the yin and all the drama and all this stuff. So then they went a day in hell. And they saw, it was interesting how they went, they saw luxury hotels. <laughs> they saw, they saw a golf course. You know, you like golfing. Yeah. There was a golf course out there. Oh, food was made by the finest shelves, uh, shelf cookers and stuff, and 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 then they said, uh, then they had to sleep in this king size bed and everything, right? And then they had to go back to the gate. So they had a day in heaven, right? And they had a day in hell. And and and, and they, they said this time they were using these people in the part of joke with politicians. Anyway, they were using the set. And the guy said, I, I, and, and look, they, they use our prominent, pop, they did the politicians that we support as the people that had this option, right? And, and uh, they even used Joe Biden as the last one. <laughs> it said, and he said, I, I, I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to hell, I'm going to hell, <laughs> right? So, so he said, okay, that you, we gave you the right to choose. You, mm -hmm. you had the right to choose. You saw all that luxury and all that other stuff that you saw. And you you liked the golfing and everything like that. So, okay, you, you made your choice. So you go ahead, you willingly, just like life, when you think about it, this is a good parable when you think about it. You go, go ahead and go, go to hell, but you chose to hell, right? But when they got to hell, what do you think they saw? They ain't seen none of that. They ain't seen none of that. And, 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 they, and they asked, they said, wait a minute, wait a minute, where, where's the luxury in the, the food and the, the golf course and all that? 
He said yesterday was a, a campaign. They <laughs> voted. Yeah. <laughs> and they were trying to use that thing because of politics, yeah. right? They said that you, Yeah, yesterday was the campaign. <laughs> the day before that, you, you no. Day before that was the campaign. Uh -huh. Yesterday you voted. Today you getting the results of your vote. The vote. And that's a, so that they have many layers, even that little parable. Yeah. But it was is the fact is that people are drawn off on the physical cardinal things. Yeah. And and don't recognize that it is torment and, and, and hell and the, the lake of fire, all that stuff matters. Is from an eternal perspective, you looked at a, a, you took a day, which is almost like they're talking about life, right? It's like it's a vapor. Yeah. Yeah. We 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 take. Some of us are making decisions on a dash, uh, being a short period. When you compare eternity with the how long we live, isn't that something? Yeah. It, it That's, doesn't matter. You know, you can be the oldest living human uh, in this modern world. You know, uh, you can do the 120. Yeah. And it's still, it, it won't compare. And, and matter of fact, the latter end of that is probably going to be suffering. Mm. I mean, you, you'll be as a child because you'll need people you know, most people who live at that age, they gotta have people caring for them like they're a child. I know, isn't that something? That is something. That that's what that and I think people are thinking, just take that parable in itself and understand we're making the decision to die. But just like Adam and Eve, it was if we eat this, they knew. If we yeah. touched it, they knew they would die. And, 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 and the ones we talk, because did you, you fin go ahead and finish it up, go ahead and finish it up. Okay. Okay, Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou ma a master of Israel, and knowest these things? Yeah, aren't you? And uh, not know these things. And not know these things, right, right. How can you be a master of Israel and you don't know this? <laughs> is what he's saying. Same as Father. To thee. <laughs> we speak that we do know. Huh. And testify that we have seen. Mm. And ye receive not our witness. You won't receive the words. That no. So, no. Uh -uh. If I had told you earthly things, you'd believe not. Mm -hmm. How shall ye believe if I tell you of the heavenly things? I think that's going on today, people. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And no man hath ascended up into up to heaven, mm -mm. but he that came down. From heaven. I had to come down. The son of man, which is in heaven. Mm -hmm. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, mm -hmm. even so must the son of man be lifted up. Come on that now. Whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. And that's and just, that, that, that's the theme, ain't it, bro? But it's, it's, it's it is the it ain't it though. And, and we're planting a plant of seed. And we're going to keep planting, right? And we're going to keep watering them. Right? We're trying to tell people you are leaving out the equation of eternal life. That please stuff, get you people, please get this. Please you please. are leaving out this the, the question of eternal life. And you must don't care. But you will find out. Because the scripture says every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Christ is Lord. Right? So go ahead and read, read the rest of that. Our for famous God, scripture. For God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he gave his only begotten son. Well. That whosoever. Whosoever. Whosoever believeth uh -huh. in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So you see, that's, that's twice, isn't it? He said in the verse before, and he said in this verse, and he's been talking about, that's the most famous scripture he's talking about. But people know that, right? They'll stick that John 3, 16 up there. Yeah. But at the same time, they don't understand. There's do more you really... to it. There's yeah. more to it than yeah. this physical realm. Come don't on. Don't get caught up into the lust of this world and the things of this world. Because yes. 
you know, it, it is, it is temporal. It's so temporal. And I guarantee you, I'm going to sit there and try to get that, um, I might take those pictures when that par that little story on TikTok was. Mm -hmm. Just so those pictures, because it look, man, have you seen it? They, they show heaven, you know. Then they show basically one of those uh, resort uh, pictures with the golfing and the, the food and the, 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 uh, the bedroom looking all great and everything. It looked just real great. And then you would compare them, you're like, man, I like it. Because that's what those politicians, the only that Pearl was showing is, they were more attracted to those things than the heavenly things. But not understanding that eternal death is separated from God. And those things that they saw were all created by God. The beauty of this world, the, 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 you know, the, 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 the blue sky, the, your golf course that you like. You, you ever been to a professional one ever? You ever went to one? A golf course? Yeah. They look good, don't they? Yeah. The, the one you go to is decent. Not even, I don't know what you call it, color no, decent. No, the one that I, I just quit, <laughs> I, I was a member of, and I'm no longer, is they quit taking care of them. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> But you ever, and I went, I went to one in Korea, I was like, wow. Yeah. I mean, it was beautiful. They, man, they, the real golf course, they look, they're, they're beautiful. They're, 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 it's supposed to be pleasing as mm -hmm. you go along and, and play. And your, your, your surroundings are supposed to be beautiful. And, and plush and and, and well manicured, mm. but when they don't take care of, I mean, why waste your 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 money on some place that don't don't appreciate it? It's, it's almost like they forgot why the uh, why it is the way it is, isn't it? Yeah, they think that this all all you want to do is just hit the ball and then go putt. Yeah, and, and, it, and everything else that's supposed to be added to it is is nothing. Interesting. The aesthetics mean nothing, but that's a part of it. It means every. It almost means everything, doesn't it? Yeah. Because they go out of the way. I didn't. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't even know that they had that uh, in the mid. You could do nine holes, and in the middle of the golf course, I guess there's some kind of little little place for refreshments. Yeah. In the middle, you can sit back and enjoy <laughs> yourself. You can, matter of fact, you can sit back and enjoy yourself. Before you get halfway to, you get at the the. the the eighth hole or the yeah. tee, you get at the eighth hole or the tee box on the ninth hole uh -huh. you call in your order so that when you get there your food is ready and then you can grab it and then keep continue on playing amazing amazing all day you could just go in there and eat lunch and relax and then go out and finish yeah Right. So in other words, obviously the, all that has a role in the, the game itself. Yeah. If yeah. those things were not there, would it be a popular sport? I would say in a lot of cases, probably not. No. But yeah, yeah. So I was at the point to it, 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 it's, it's the attractions, the glory. That's what I'm saying. Vain glory. Remember your, your, your sister-in-law when we one time had that study and, and we got to the point where it was a vain glory. Yeah. She keyed in on that word. I don't know if you remember that. She, vain Lord. <laughs> she, she was like, oh, I think I got something. Yeah, that's what we're trying to talk about all of y'all. Maybe all, all of y'all need to understand about the vain glory. Uh, and, and so I think about the eternal versus the temporal. Don't invest in the temporal. Invest in the eternal. Man, that's a topic by itself. Look, I also put it in there just in case, but I actually remember that most people don't study and see the word. Uh, this scripture right here is what we're talking about. Another choice that was made again, and seemed like we've been living off this one for the longest time. This is your Exodus one, where we said 18 to 21. Uh, what, what happened there? This is Exodus and people. All the people saw the thundering and the lightnings with an S. <laughs> and the noise of the trumpet mm. and the mountain smoke mm. and when the people saw it they removed and stood afar off mm -hmm. and they, they just heard the Ten Commandments 
speak down, speak down with us, and we will hear you. But let not God speak to us, lest we die. There's that lest we die again. I don't know if you caught that. Never to the people, fear not, for God has not come to prove you, mm -hmm. and that his fear may be before your faces, that ye sin not. You sin what? Did you say, you said what? Yeah. So he's been talking about that from the beginning, right? Yeah. And he just told them, he gave them 10 commandments above that. Those that those didn't know, this is this is actually where he gave the 10 commandments to them. Yeah. It, was, it was just like Adam and Eve, or Adam, maybe. matter of fact, that maybe like you said, we don't know. Did he tell Eve the same thing? She said, God said. So she had been to God long enough that she could hear God say, don't touch that. Don't eat. Oh, not touch, but don't eat from that tree. Because she knew. And, and she was in Adam when he told him. Yeah. She was, it, it was created in them. In them. That's he did, right? So when we said to people, just in case y'all didn't know, Exodus 20, and we just read the 1821, but this is what God spake to them. God sends prophets and everything else now to you. <laughs> to, and they had people inspired to write the word of God. But it's all about eternal life. And they did the same, you see what I'm saying? That word was, that's the same word, isn't it? Yeah. Lest we die. Here to just give you minutes at 19, the last piece. God, don't you we won't speak to God because we'll die. Because they knew their now, hearts. If, if you're in the presence of God, your eyes are open. Your eyes are wide open. And if you know the heat sees Satan cannot blind. Come on. Your eyes when the presence of God is there. Exactly. Hey everybody, God bless you. I, I hope that you enjoyed the session that you just listened to. And I hope you get to look at all, listen to all the sessions for this segment that we did, or this study session, or the discussion that we did today. Uh, we did this on the, I think it's, 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 it's the August, I think it was the, I think it's the 13th of August that this session was done. Uh, and like I said, all the sessions you would have seen throughout the week. And, and, and I just want you to remember, here's the topic we did today. Let me go ahead and put that up. You can see what we, I, I know you saw it at the beginning of the session, and I just want to make sure you got it here, wrap it up on the closing of the session. It says, does the human eyes of others mean it's okay with God to steal, kill, and destroy, following John 10.10? 10. <laughs> and I hope that you got the answer, which is no. It's, it's not okay with God to steal, kill, destroy. It's not okay with God to discriminate against other people, your fellow man. It's not okay. It's not okay to, to try to get as much as you can for your life, as much as you can for your family or your friends, and think it's okay with God that you do these things at the, at the uh, detrimental of somebody else's life that you dehumanize other people so you can go ahead and, and, and do the atrocities of history or do the atrocity of the faith or to sit there and, 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 and ignore truth and accept the lie or conspire to do something that you know will only give somebody else who's trying to do bad things a way out. You are believers and you need to show people who you are as a believer so that you can make a difference in their life. We come, we are called to preach the gospel. And the equation of the gospel is eternal life. And therefore we want us to remind ourselves and remind those we come in contact with that it's about eternal life. It doesn't matter whether some people have not faith in eternal life, it matters to us because we are believers. And as believers, we, believe in eternal life. We make the confession that Jesus Christ, our personal Lord and Savior. We want to bear the fruits of the Spirit, found in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Now the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, and such. There's no law. 
We want to have eternal life just within John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We want you to understand that vain glory does not equal eternal life. We want you to understand that a false balance does not equal eternal life. We want you, and like I said, put it in a scale, right? If you put it in a scale, you sit there and say that if God is not in your equation and the Holy Spirit and eternal life is not in the equation of your decision, then the scale is not balanced. And if it's not balanced, it equals eternal death. But if you put God in the equation of your decision, you put eternal life in the equation of your decision, so that what you do does and focus on eternal life, it makes a difference. But not to steal, kill, and destroy. That's what we talked about today. And I hope you enjoy the session, and I hope you come back and do listen to all the sessions and continue to deal with the platform, support this platform, don't forget to subscribe, um, and leave comments if you can. And remember, Yeshua is, is Lord. Amen? So, no vain glory. Focus on truth. Focus on light. Focus on eternal life. Don't let that be in jeopardy because of personal gain. Because all those who died before you, judgment has come to them. Don't let judgment come to you because you already made the right choice and your behavior lines up with that choice. But if your behavior don't line up with the choice, then you, you're right. You have eternal death <laughs> and there's a lake of fire waiting for you and that's what your choice and we give you that free choice. Or oh, I, I don't give it to you. God gives it to you. I just hope you choose life. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you when I see you. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. God bless. Bye bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.